I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my video on converting numbers from percent fraction to decimals. In the first part, let us see how to express the percent as decimal and as fraction in lowest terms. I have taken three examples. Now, let us write down first the fractions. and then decimals. To write fractions from percent, we have to write out of 100. 8 percent means 8 out of 100. Right? Now here you will see we need to write fractions in lowest term. So we will kind of simplify it later. But now, let me convert this to decimals. Dividing by 100 means just placing the decimal at the right place, right? So, 2 units. So, it becomes 8 hundredth. So, this is 10th position and that is the 100th position. So, 8 hundredth will be the decimal equivalent of 8 percent. Now, let us see how to simplify and write it in lowest terms. You can divide both by 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 25 is 100. And therefore, in lowest terms, I could write this as 2 over 25. So that is 8%. Now, let's look into 37.5%. So the first step is divide the whole number by 100. So we get 37.5 divided by 100. As soon as you do that, write decimal equivalent, moving decimal two places to the left. So we get 0 0.375 as the decimal equivalent. Now, let us simplify this. Now here we already have a decimal. So the first step should be avoid this decimal. So that means we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So this becomes 375 over 1000. Do you see that part? Now this is a very critical step. How did we get there? We need to avoid decimal, right? So, so the key here is avoid decimal in numerator. Whenever you write fractions, you never see fractions with decimal in numerator, correct? So, since there was one decimal place, we actually multiplied both by 10. So, we did 10 by 10, right? So, multiplied numerator by 10, giving us 375, denominator also by 10, we get 1000. Now, we should simplify by dividing by common factors. You could... Do in series, let's do, let's say first divided by 5. We'll go in small steps. So 5 times 2 is 10. We get 200 here. Dividing by 5, 5 times 7 is 35 and 5 is 25. Now, we can again divide by 5. So 5 times 4 is 20 and 0. And dividing by 5, we get 5 times 1 as 5. 25 is 15. We can further divide by 5. 5 times 8 is 40 and 5 times 3 is 15. So what we get finally is equivalent to 3 over 8. So 3 over 8 is this fraction in the lowest term. So let me rewrite this here as 3 over 8. Okay. Now 37.5% in fraction is 3 over 8. And in decimals, we could write it as 0 0.375, correct? Okay. Now let's look into the last one here. So you get an idea. 62.6, first step, let's just write this as 62.6 divided by 100. Convert this to decimals, moving decimal to two places gives us 0 
in decimals. Now, since there is one decimal, well, multiply by 10 in both numerator and denominator, we get 626 by 1000, multiplying by 10. Now, let us simplify. Both these numbers can be divided by 2. So, we get 500 and 313, right? Now, that seems to be not divisible by 5 or 10 or even 2. So, we'll write this as 313 over 500. So, that is how you can actually convert percent to decimals. And I hope you learned the technique that you need to avoid decimal in the numerator of fraction. Perfect. Now, let's take up more examples. This time, we are going to express decimals as fractions and percent, right? So, this time, we will do decimals as fractions and percent. Okay. Now, fractions in lowest term, okay? And then we'll write percent. Now, percent is very simple. For percent, we have to only multiply by 100. So, so you could do straight times 100. So, if you do 100, then 0 0.25, 0. Point, I mean 0 0.025. If you times it with 100, what do you get? This decimal moves two places, correct? And so, we get this as 2.5 percent simple now 1.2 1.2 times 100 multiply by 100 once you do that it moves and it makes it a bigger number right so 1 2 it is 120 percent more than 100 percent correct 1.2 0 0.45 0 0.45 times 100 gives you 45 percent so, converting from decimal to percent or from percent to decimal is very simple. Let's see how to do it in fractions. So, to get it in fractions, we have to avoid decimal. So, there are three decimal places. 0 to 5 divided by 1000 since there are three decimal places. One decimal place, 12 divided by 10, two decimal places, 45 divided by 100. So these are the fractions. Now we need to write them in lowest terms. Now you could divide by 25 both these terms. 25 times 1 and we know that is 40. Correct. So that gives you the fraction 1 over 40. That is equal to 0 0.025. 12 over 10. We can divide both by 2, giving us 6 in the numerator, 5 in the denominator. So what we get here is a fraction 6 over 5. 45 could be divided by 5, giving us 9. And dividing by 5, we get 20 in the denominator. So we get 9 over 20. So that is how you convert decimals to fractions and percent. Now lastly, let us see how to convert fractions to percent and decimals. Correct? So now we will do conversion from fractions to, uh, let us say, percent and decimals. Now for percent, you need to multiply by 100. Correct? So whatever fraction you have, just multiply by 100 to get percent. So you get 2 over 3 times 100. And this number, 1, 3 over, 1, 1 over 3 could be written as 3 times 1, 4 over 3. Correct? So convert this number, mixed number, into improper fraction and then times it with 100 to get percent right now you could simplify at this stage for example 50 goes two times with 100 so we get here 42 percent 
correct? In this case, we'll get a decimal number. 200 divided by 3, right? 200 divided by 3. So you could do it using calculator, correct? So let's divide 200 by 3 and get our answer. So it is 0.2. So we'll use calculator to divide. So let's divide 200 by 3 to get the answer. It is 66.66 recurring. 66. 6 repeats recurring. Now we have 400 divided by 3. So let's do that also. 400 divided by 3 is equal to 133.3 recurring. 133.3 recurring. Or you can do long division. Perfect. Now, once you get percent, it is easy to write decimal numbers. For getting decimals here, you need to just place the value. 42% means 42 over 100, right? So that gives you 0 0.42 in decimals. Here, you get 0 0.66 in decimals. You could write recurring. And in this case, in decimals, you get 1.33 recurring. So that is how you get your decimal equivalents for the given fractions. Now, it is not a good practice to write 66 recurring. I'll prefer to write only as 0 0.6 recurring since it means 6 repeats, right? And here, 1.3 recurring, correct? So, it is not necessary that you get terminating decimals. So, sometimes you may get terminating decimal. And sometimes you may get repeating decimals. We'll work more with repeating decimals in the next video. But I hope you have understood the process of converting fractions to percent to decimals and in any order, right? In this video, I'll explain you how to express recurring decimals into fractions and decimals, right? So we have two examples. We have 0 0.33 recurring and 1.5 recurring. We'll write them as fractions and then as percent. Well, we could have written directly as percent also from recurring numbers. But let's focus on fractions. Now when I say 0 0.3, we kind of get reminded of 1 over 3. We know 1 over 3 is 0 0.3. So that is perfectly fine. Now some of you may know that this is how we write 3 recurring as. Some of you may not know. But here we will learn a process of writing such rec recurring numbers as fractions. Well, let me tell you, as far as percent is concerned, we just need to multiply uh, this by 100, right, to get our percent. So we get 33.3 recurring as percent. Similarly, for 1.5, also we could write this as 1.5 times 100, 1.5 recurring, will give us, this is more than 100, right? So it is 100 and 55.5 recurring in percent. So as far as percent is concerned, it's kind of very simple. Now let us see how to write them in decimals. I will teach you the method for 1.5 recurring. You can apply the same and get the result 1 over 3 for 0 0.3 recurring. Okay. Now the method is kind of like this. Let a number x be equal to 1.5 recurring, right? It really means kind of 1.555 like this, correct? If I multiply this by 10, it becomes 10x equals to what? 
decimal moves. So I get 15.555 all this. How about doing 10x minus x? That minus this. This really means 5.555 take away 1.555. So, so all these numbers after decimal cancel off. So we just get 14 here and 10 minus 1 is 9. So we get 9x equals to 14. So that gives you the answer. X is how much? So that gives you that X should be equal to 14 over 9, right? So we could write this as 14 over 9. Now if I use the calculator, then we can see what is 14 over 9? 14 divided by 9 is equal to 1.5555, right? So it repeats. So that is how you actually get the fraction equivalent of recurring decimal numbers. I hope this step is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And here are a few questions for you to practice. Now let us say if I have 2.6 recurring, can you write this as an equivalent fraction? Something over something, right? Try this out. And what really happens if I have two digits here, for example, if I have uh, 0.34 recurring, then what is this equivalent to as fractions? You can try it out and then write them as your comments. Now for 0.34 recurring, you should multiply by 100 instead of 10 so that you could cancel all the repeating decimal places. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my video, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.